On this Monday, the 20th of September, our service of morning prayer begins on page 80. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. The Venite, page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 80, beginning on page 702. Psalm 80, page 702. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, leading Joseph like a flock. Shine forth, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim. In the presence of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, stir up your strength and come to help us. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angered, despite the prayers of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have given them bowls of tears to drink. You have made us the derision of our neighbors, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You have brought a vine out of Egypt. You cast out the nations and planted it. You prepared the ground for it, and took, it took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered by its shadow, and the towering cedar trees by its balls. You stretched out its tendrils to the sea, and its branches to the river. Why have you broken down its wall, so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar of the forest has ravaged it, and the beasts of the field have grazed upon it. Turn now, O God of hosts, look down from heaven, and behold and tend this vine. Preserve, Pres what preserve what your right hand has planted. They burn it with fire like rubbish. At the rebuke of your countenance, let them perish. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand, and the son of man you have made so strong for yourself. And so will we never turn away from you. Give us life, that we may call upon your name. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts and show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and, and to, to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Already you are filled, already you have become rich. Without us you have become kings, and would that you did reign so that we might share the rule with you. For I think that God has exhibited us apostles as last of all, like men sentenced to death, because we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and to men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. To the present hour we hunger and thirst. We are ill-clad, and buffeted and homeless, and we labor, working with our own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we try to conciliate. We have become and are now, as the refuse of the world, the offscouring, scourging of all things. I do not write this to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you have many guides in Christ, you do not have many fathers. For I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. I urge you then, be imitators of me. 
Therefore I send to you Timothy, my beloved and faithful child in the Lord, to remind you of my ways in Christ, as I teach them everywhere in every church. Some are arrogant, as though I were not coming to you. But I will come to you soon, if the Lord wills, and I will find out not the talk of those arrogant people, but their power. For the kingdom of God does not consist in talk, but in power. What do you wish? Shall I come to you with a rod, or with love and a spirit of gentleness? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The third song of Isaiah, page 87. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the people. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation, and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your glory will be, and your God will be your glory. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The prayers, beginning on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. And we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Almighty God, you called your faithful servant, John Coleridge Pattison, and his companions to be witnesses and martyrs in the islands of Melanesia, and by their labors and suffering raise up a people for your own possession. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon your church in every land, that by the service and sacrifice of many, your holy name may be glorified and your kingdom enlarged. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray for your church, that our whole lives may be a chorus of praise to you. God of all creation, who fashioned the world to be in harmony, and whose heaven resounds with the joyful music of your praise, tune our hearts that in all our words, deeds, and relationships, we can, may convey to others the beautiful echo of your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray for your world, for openness and fairness on the part of all leaders, and for a renewed commitment from all those whose decisions affect the lives of others, to look to the needs of those they serve before their own advantage. Amen. Loving God, whose Son came among us as one who serves, teach our hearts to love the service of others, keep us all from the temptations of selfishness and love of power, and in humility inspire us to wash one another's feet, that as we offer them love and care, we may know that in the least of them, we are ministering to your Son, in whose service is our perfect freedom, even Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord God Almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity, and in all we do direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.